Hi friends, how the hell have you guys been? Happy Friday to all of you. I'd love to look out the window and see some nice sunshine, but it's ugly as shit outside in here in Ohio. Um, we're supposed to get a lot of rain. However, on a good note, we dumped six yards, my son and his friends, dumped six yards of dirt in my backyard to try and help level it out. So the rain is very much appreciated because it's starting to pack it down after we kind of raked and leveled it out. We've probably got about, uh, I don't know, probably 20 more yards worth in order to achieve like a more of a level playing field, if you will. So it'll be about 18 more yards of uh, rough whatever dirt, and then we'll get the, uh, the sifted nice topsoil after that. So any which way, babbled long enough. Uh, today we are going to go with something that I've been waiting on for a while. I've been waiting since last year for it to come back out, and that is Sterling's Boat Drinks. Okay, this, <laughs> uh, everything I hoped it'd be, all right, um, you're going to smell uh, banana, tangerine, rum, um, it, it just makes you hear a Jimmy Buffett song, I mean, it just awesome stuff. We do have the matching splash with the cool parrot on the front as well, and today we're going to be using the Yaki Synthetic 26 millimeter brush which is already loaded and for the mowing of the face we'll be going with the stallion's edge on this gold dollar 66 so been chattering long enough bag the cap for a few we'll uh, dampen the face and we will get rolling so um, finally starting to shake whatever bug I picked up after getting that COVID vaccine last week and um, that was quite an ordeal to say the least. It was not fun. So, I mean, like I said before, I'd rather have COVID than go with, through those symptoms again. So, uh, anyway, the scent, once it's lathered, it comes even more to life. So, if, um, if you're thinking about getting it, don't second guess yourself, it's more than worth it. I probably could have even thrown more water at this stuff. I guess we'll see at the end of this pass. I mean, I'll just sort of touch it up with a little more paint it in. Damn, got the nose. So, hopefully, you guys are having a good start to your weekend. Like I said, it's Friday around noon. I've got to get done with the shave and then my boy and I are going to run a few errands. Got to pick some stuff up. Um, got to get some crickets for the tarantulas. Yes, we have tarantulas. Not near as many as we used to, but um, it was uh, a fun hobby for my kids and I, especially during a really dark time in my life. So, <laughs> any which way. So, uh, I gotta Allen block the digits real quick and get right around the base of the neck. This is my way of cheating, I guess, but you know what? Stretching is the most important thing when it comes to straight razor shaving, right? So, yeah, I like I said, I, I definitely feel a hell of a lot better than I felt for about the last 10 days, so any which way, here we go. And of course, the performance on Sterling Soap stands for, or, you know, stands alone, it's, it's great stuff. It's not just a value brand, it's a very good performer.
but like I had said, this stuff, I mean, it just takes you to a, it's, I mean, obviously people are going to label it as a warm weather scent or a summer scent, spring, whatever, I mean, it, it just, it takes you to a, a very fun place, we'll just put it that way. of that on the against the grain pass. So here in Ohio we've had really nice weather for about the last week and Memorial Day weekend is going to be uncharacteristically cold. Um, tomorrow, which Saturday, is only a high of 52 degrees, which is kind of unheard of this late in May. I mean, I know I love to hate on Ohio weather, but um, we're usually not that cold this late in the year. Or, well, this late in the spring, I should say. It's warmer where you guys are. Um, obviously, being a veteran this um, this weekend always takes on a new meaning for me. You know, for some people, it's just uh, an extra day to barbecue and spend with the family. But um, you know. And, and I'm obviously not trying to be a buzzkill topic here, but at the same time, this weekend is for those who didn't make it home. And, uh, you know, I mean, I'm going to be working both Sunday and Monday because it's my scheduled days to work. Um, but I'll still be observing on Monday. Uh, probably go to the cemetery and if there aren't already some stuff on my grandpa's grave I'll drop some stuff off try to um but you know it's all too often people want to thank you for your service on Memorial Day weekend and it's you know this isn't my weekend all right, and it, I know it all kind of gets wrapped up, you know, there's, there's Armed Forces Day for those who are still in uniform, there's Veterans Day who, for people who are now out of uniform, and there's Memorial Day for those who never got out of their uniform. So, if, if ever there's a, an easier way to explain it, that's it. So, all right, uh, I'm going to. So it looks like I don't need to really rinse up too much, so we'll just re-wet the face and get going on pass number two. And now that I don't have to hold the head, we can put the peaky back on. So, you know what? I did say I was going to add some more water to this because it looked like it was just a touch on the underhydrated side, so just add a little bit more to it yep that looks a lot better and I did get myself right here on the chin in this little valley it's it's one of those areas it's just you know kind of the contour of my face you know some days I get it I try not to but it's you know it's just one of those things that uh, if that's as bad as it gets on a straight razor shave day then I did pretty decent <laughs> You know, this scent just, it kind of takes me to where the hell I'm going to be here in about four weeks. 
Um, my wife, kids, and I are going down to basically Vero Beach, Florida. Um, we usually like to go up to New England, but given kind of the state of the country and um, a lot of things still being shut down up there and in the possibility of reshutting down, we didn't want to take any chances, so we decided that we're going to go down to Florida and, you know, obviously let the kids do some swimming and this and that, so... I'm not much of a beach bum vacation guy, I've, I've said that numerous times, but this time I think that it's more than worth the, uh, the change of pace, so um, because next summer we're going to be going up to Maine because, uh, I mean, A, we like it there, but B, um, my son wants his senior pictures done up there, so um, obviously um, we're going to get some pictures taken by the Portland Lighthouse and we'll probably reattempt our climb of Mount Katahdin, which is the most, the northernmost peak on the Appalachian Trail. So, that and my son's also considering going to the University of Maine to be a rest, uh, wrestle up there. They have a very good wrestling program, ironically enough. So, my my oldest is a very outdoorsy kid. Um, likes mount, rock climbing and hiking in the woods. And um, as remote as the state of Maine is, that's a perfect place if he decides to pursue that path. Almost got a bloop going there. Not quite. Alright, on to the chinny chin chin. And, you know, it's... It's weird, you know, you, I mean, I've just recently started using a little bit more techniques in order to try and stretch the skin to get a little bit better manipulation of the razor. Like that, for example, just using my tongue to push the lip out as opposed to trying to do that so all right I'm going to switch well yeah I'm going to switch hands we'll get that with the right hand how are we doing time wise 13 minutes baby's ass. Alright, fun part. that on the across the grain. Alright, um, I got somebody standing at the door, so uh, hang tight guys, I'll bring you back for, back for pass number three. I'll hang on a second. Alright guys, sorry about that. Just had to take care of a little bit. <laughs> My daughter was at the door 
had to ask about a few things, and bless her heart, she stayed quiet until she knew I had a break in the action, if you will. So, <laughs> ah. all right, so we're going to go across the grain and just do a little minor cleanup on the neck, anything I might have missed. So, without further ado, here we go. So in order to try and uh, not abuse the hell out of a towel, I've been cleaning the blade off with my finger and just kind of flicking it in the water. So whenever you kind of hear that, that's what I'm doing. So I so can get the... Too steep there. Now we're good. Alright, take a uh... Yeah, trying to go through that ridge there going across the grains just a little bit too nerve wracking for me. Maybe as I get more and more experienced, maybe it'll be easier to deal with, but still to this day, not quite the most comfortable with doing that. Just one of these. And then if I have anything to wipe off the blade, it's very minor. And I don't have to keep flipping a towel through the whole shave because I used to do that and then ended up wiping soap all over the blade again sometimes. So we all kind of have our quirks, am I right? <laughs> Just one of my many, I'm sure. Alright, I forgot to get that earlobe cleaned off, but... Okay. Now... Not everybody needs to do three passes with a straight razor. Um, I do just because of the fact that my hair kind of grows wicked. It'll grow down here and then shoots back like all through here. So if I don't get an across the grain pass, then I'm left with a bunch of scruff right here that's, you know, in a kind of a funky spot. So. And I mean, could I get away with just doing two passes going with and then across and then just against on the neck? I've done it. You know, not bad deal. Um, today I just had the time to get all three passes on camera, but also um, I just felt like yesterday I did not shave, so I kind of needed to mow this shit down to begin with. Um, yesterday was kind of a funky day. <laughs> I woke up after I got off work and had to stay up long enough to take my youngest to get a haircut and um, ended up falling asleep maybe at 2 o'clock then for, and I missed picking my daughter up. So I uh, definitely not went and candidate for father of the year. So <laughs> my wife got a call from the latchkey director. I got one little spot. I'm just getting one of this. Um, from the latchkey director that Jordy was still there and hadn't been picked up. And, uh, yeah, I fell asleep and did not wake up. So, shame on me as a dad. <laughs> I definitely, like I said, I'm not winning candidate for father of the year. Um, I'm going to drain the sink out and rinse up the face real quick, get the res residual of the soap off, and I'll be right back with the post-shave. Hang tight. Okay, so we're back. 
Um, like I said, this thing takes forever to drain and it just makes a, a loud and annoying noise you guys didn't want to hear. So, <laughs> um, I am going to put a little bit of the unscented balm on if I can get any bus any more out of here. Yep. Little dime sized glob. It was a real close shave today, but you know, I only had like this one spot here and maybe one on the mustache on the side, which you know, comes with the territory. It was kind of to be expected, but um, so no real issues, no need for the witch hazel today. But um, so we'll move on to the aftershave splash, which Sterling's boat drinks again, and I hate that lighting. Yeah. <sighs> which way so this stuff's an amazing scent if you like you know let's just say lakeside beach nights or you know any of that kind of stuff where you could be out on the water per se this stuff is for you okay I mean and I don't own a boat anymore, um, but, uh, anymore, shit, I was a kid when my parents had boats, I never really owned one myself, um, but, you know, my wife and I kind of had a pontoon boat for a while, <laughs> but, so, today, uh, we went with the Yaki Synthetic 26 millimeter brush, uh, we went with Stallion's Edge on this Gold Dollar 66, and today we went with Sterling's Boat Drinks. I'll move that up and watch the camera dim. But this stuff is an awesome scent, amazing scent, whatever you want to call it. it. It just takes you to that happy place. It is a very dark soap, so I don't, I mean, I can't imagine it staining your natural hair brush, but I, I use synthetic a little bit more often. If I'm face lathering, then I use that. The Savile Row, which is my favorite brush, but um, I wasn't sure, and I didn't want it to stain this, so didn't wasn't sure if it would. But any which way, Sterling's Boat Drinks, ladies and gentlemen, awesome scent, well worth it. You guys should definitely get yourself some while they have it. I think this is supposed to be to stay in the Sterling lineup, at least from an email that I had received from Rod when I asked if I could pre-order it because I was afraid I'd get shut out. But he assured me that uh, that wouldn't happen. I'd be able to get some once it hit the, the store, and I'm very happy that I did. Definitely get yourself some Sterling Boat Drinks. All right, guys, I got to bounce. Got a few things I got to do today. You have a great day, night, whatever. Keep your shaves clean. Keep them wet. Later, guys.